Let's model a spur gear. First, we'll go to Insert Attached Canvas to bring in a picture to trace. Click on Select Image, Find the Image, click on a plane, and you can position it wherever you want. I'll just position it here and click OK. Now with the sketch tools, I'll trace this. Click Sketch, Circle, Center Diameter, click on the plane, click on the center, and then click the diameter. I'm going to do this again and make a concentric circle here. Now I'll click on line and trace one tooth. It isn't going to be perfect, but I'm just trying to show you the general idea of how to do this. I'll try a three-point arc. Click here, here, and here. Then I'll draw another line. I'm just going to draw it halfway because I'm now going to mirror this part. I'm going to select this, hold the shift key down to select these other two lines, go to sketch, mirror, mirror line, click on that, and there it all is. And then I'll go to trim to get rid of that. So I have a rough approximation of this tooth. So now I'm going to click sketch, circular pattern, select the tooth, click center point select, click the center point, and then drag this arrow to make multiple copies. I can also type the number of copies that I want. And this looks more accurate. Now click OK. Now I'm going to offset this circle. I'll select it, click Offset, drag this arrow, and click OK. And I'm going to trim all of this. Select, right click, press pull, extrude it up, and there you have it.